How am I on my supplies? I can throw this in here. Nope, put it away. I'm good on scrappers. Uh, I could use an extra pry tool. Pry bar. need to have that in there. Is there anything I could upgrade on myself? I get the personal airbag. Impact resistance, 45%. Screw it. Anything tries to stab me, or well, hurt me with impact damage, I'm good. So on the logbooks for these, because I have so many logbook entries, is that also just going to be some random ass? Ugh. Some random, random day, random day log. From who knows who. Aye, aye. Okay, everyone, the new receiver designs are ready, and I promise these ones won't be so edible. I'm being quite serious here, folks. Last year's rash of signal hungry anomalies, the ones that would chow down on anything broadcasting across lower bands, absolutely tanked our comms budget and cut hundreds of us off from the outside world. The allies w alloys we're using now, combined with the new standard frequencies, means nothing's going to be chewing up our broadcasts anymore. Now, let's get these deployed as soon as possible and make sure each has a recording cache fitted and get those parts welded on tight. I'm not letting another one of those fall into the hands of that self-proclaimed guerrilla radio group. Who knows what kind of nonsense signals they're pick, uh, picking up from the outside world. Or even worse, beaming out. It's all in our heads if that happens again. Shock tourists. You know what? It's an increasingly bad time in the zone these days. Every day when I step out my door, I should get a different job. Uh, I should do something else. It's getting worse. I swear these things are all but spring up out of thin air. And now we have this chain reaction thing. This brutal, deadly trap that just outright slaughters people. Whole lines of these, those dummies, any one of them capable of setting off all the rest. Seven people have died in three days. You know what it feels like to me? Like the zone is murdering us. Even like it enjoys doing so. It's as if something really, really doesn't want us here. But you know what? That's fine by me. Tomorrow morning, I'm out. Environmental distortions in this part of the zone mean that all car battery usage would be much higher. Uh. See, like, these are normal. These are just descriptions about the items. That's what I want for for some, some of the other stuff. Description for the thing, and then a fun little, like, story related to it. such a generously sized target. How difficult could it be to score a few points? Very. What am I missing here? Anomaly encounters. Oh, these are the, the logs that we've been finding. Okay. I want to see lab report one. Initial trials on the remote battery charger have been extremely encouraging. As predicted, the key mitigating factor is distance. We can only charge in close proximity. Our success here, though limited, does suggest a future in which we can pl make plugs and connectors obsolete. But for now, the devices we charge still need to be nearby. In the short term, we can find applications for roll-on, roll-off battery recharging in vehicles, anything from cars to light aircraft, mass proximity charging for handheld devices like radios, and make greater use of larger examples of field portable equipment. However, our ultimate goal still remains to ultimately, or to remotely charge a device as far as line of sight. A car with a flat battery down the road, a cordless power tool half a mile away, imagine that. That does sound fun. Right. I 
Did I already plan my route? Here you go. It's time to suffer. You know, I forgot to turn on the radio for this place again. I'll go do that right quick. I like the music playing in here. Got some kind of problem in my car that I just don't know. No, well, Bex doesn't do anything. Windshield wipers are fine. Anything I can like immediately produce doesn't seem to be causing any real issue. I might need to just use, get that upgrade that just finds out what the thing is for you, for energy. I have a fear about the future, cause when you're building something new, you All right. never know what the will be. Doctor, I'm fed up. I'm not stopping for, ah, okay, I might stop for potential chemicals. And I guess armored vehicles, but I'm, I'm I'm really just trying to buzz through here. Even if I could actually like radio in myself to the to Tobias and Francis and be like, hey guys, <laughs> what are y'all up to? I've just been trying to drive these damn roads over and over again. What's up with y'all? We're good. Oh no, that's what I forgot! The impact hammer! Son of a bitch! I hope I don't need it to get through the expansion wall. Fuck. Yeah, we're not getting that out here. <laughs> Needs gears? Scrap? I don't really got that. Should just be smooth sailing to the exit here. And then we can be in the super dark place again.
Oh, shit! How did we not see that in the distance? God damn! It just showed up! As you travel through the zone, you leave instability in your wake. Be careful returning to areas you recently visited. That's what I'm doing here! Barely plugged. Huh. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the fuck through here. I don't care about anything else. I'm ready to, like, get to an area where I can actually get upgrade resources again. At least, like, the small stuff. <sighs> Fine. Since they're already gonna fucking, like, ambush me. I can do this one. Suddenly a storm behind us! Oh, it's on top of us, actually! Directly! Oh, shit! The zone really said, again? I haven't even recovered from the last time! I'm gonna throw you in the air! I want to see what's in here. This is a big lab. Could mean lots of chemicals for repairs. Pack camera work. Good to go. Chemical. Well, I got one. <laughs> the very least. There's another little facility over there. There's just a bunch of them. That's the trap! Give 
give me chemicals. Thank you. I just wanted. Don't like that. I just wanted two, so I can at least make one repair putty in the future. Skedaddle. Oh, I'm not. Don't need to waste your ability on that. Whoa. What the fuck happened there? Why are there just a bunch of tires behind the... Behind this now? That explains the sound. What the fuck y'all want from me? Y'all just throwing spare tires? I don't want this. Take it back. <laughs> Give me the uh, higher quality stuff and maybe, you know, we'll see. doors in there, huh? Swamp coral. Yeah, I got like one of 300 or something. I got the most important beats of that. No, I'm not gonna work my car. But I was thinking about it. Here you go. That was the wrong one, actually. Oh well. This road would lead over to over there, but it doesn't. I'm just going to drive down the hill. I pissed off the storm again. That's so funny. <laughs> It just, the immediate response to me taking an anchor is like, and you fuck around, find out, huh? So if the storm's in one place already, what happens if I take another hanker? Let's 
Scrap's always good. This is for realsies. The only other one I'm getting. I'm not getting the other one that's north. storm is a lot nicer than I thought it would be. Truly, I thought, like, if we got into the center of this storm, we die. The car gets sent into the air a hundred feet. But no, it's just a little rough and loud. Mostly loud. Ooh, the bolts try to... Ambush me again. I think this one's gonna hit. Nope, we're good. Oh, shit. A little too fast off that, that hill there. Holy hell. Alright, I still saved myself a couple of minutes. I see the exit! Get me out of here! That's so reasonable. Oh, wait. I wasn't here yet? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, uh, I'm a little confused. This is the place I need to be scared about. Disruptive discharge and swift storm, huh? At least it doesn't have the battery drain thing again. My fucking car won't run out of light while I'm here. I'll, uh... I'll take some lead, sure. Me, right? Here. Holy shit. Well, I don't need anything else here, I think. Oh, I'm on the wrong fucking way! Okay.
That's the storm, all right. Oh, shit, those are new. I think they missed. <laughs> Is the quirk something with my radio? I think it's something with my fucking radio. Like, oh, if I take damage, my radio just switches to a different station or some shit. I kind of wish I had gone out and scanned those new creatures, but, uh... I was kind of assuming one of them would, like, latch on and that would force me out, and it didn't happen. And... we'll take those. The mailman, number five. Okay, I think I need the impact hammer for that locked door, but like in a different way. <laughs> you just literally need to discharge the plasma generator. Oh boy. Ah! Owie! I shouldn't. I shouldn't. the storm <laughs> look at all the stuff <laughs> there's just high instability everywhere the mark of my path all right wall crossing damp forest expansion Well, it's perpetual stability, so I'm free to at least yoink the energy from this side. At least I think that's how it works. That looks... eh. Looks like it's the mist. I'll get closer just in case, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a sizzling mist. I'll take a picture in case, you know, different picture. Hey, 
wait, there's another one? Jeez. So perpetual stability either means the storm won't start unless you open a gateway or it won't start unless you add, grab every single one. That's... I'm leaning the first one. The second one would be more difficult. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, oh. Hey, my baby! Whoa! My car just honked that it was in danger. Sorry, bud. Delicious armored. Armored parts. ourselves a little cabin that I can break into. Ah. Ooh -wee, that was a lot of stuff. up here too sheesh what the hell they had a little hidden nook Like that, though. This is a workbench. Oh, shit. Hey, that's fun. Metal so material source. My backpack and the car. I tragically don't have any gas cylinders, or I could have actually made an impact hammer. God damn it. I think the front right's cursed. The front right tire. Just, it's the one that keeps going out. Alright, I'm not ceiling kidding a spare tire. I'll just do it on the other one.
Uh, if I can. Here we go. It's bald, so it's still not in good condition. Just, oh, shit. Okay. My bad. My inventory's a mess. We can go here. You know what? Fuel would be good. It's really funny that the fuel, like, on these fuel pumps is so much. <laughs> like, that small amount that looks like it's almost empty? No, that can fill up my entire gas. Like, that's fine. scared about what's on the other side. If things here have been like the tamer version of the zone, what does it really get like out there? There's the expansion wall. It separates the outer zone from the mid zone and more importantly, us from those two idiots. This will get you one step closer to the deep zone. It's far past its prime, so watch your step. The deep zone. Yay. We're in trouble. But the mid zone play should be fine ish. Rapper time. Yeah, wrong one. I don't think you were here a second ago. If my car's gonna go up in the air, I wanna be the one to decide why! Ow! Oh shit. Unhand my car, fiends! I don't know if these things reactivate again after they do their first thing. Steel panel. Not today. Decal. Run. <laughs> Car, come back. So much stuff to give you now. I know you're not happy. I'm sorry. I can't stop those things from jumping you like that. At least not yet. Don't worry. After all this, we'll we'll get you some some upgrades. 
And maybe we'll get a lucky way over to this place that doesn't make me have to drive through three zones over and over again. That would be nice. Any steel panel I might need to replace. This this needs replacing. You. <laughs> You're the new steel panel for my car. Eh, especially since this can't fit in anywhere. All right. I think I just need to drive through that tunnel right there. It's a good thing this water isn't that deep. <laughs> I don't know if there's any saving the car from deep water. What's in this car? Wow. A lot of resources. And some fuel. But I'm good on that. Alright, anything that can't fit in there can go here, maybe? Yeah. what kind of things are going to happen inside of here. is supposed to be here. Is there a building I can gain access to? Maybe up there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how the hell to get up there. <laughs> to let that burn out a little bit. Um, did I not make another relatable one? Okay. That's fine. I'll make a new one. Like this. Hey, I can make an impact hammer. Finally, have the gas cylinder. Yeah. There's two panel can't fit in the box. That's okay. Oops. Okay, now that's way better if I just shoot it straight in the air. I love love how long it takes to float down. Oh no! Ah oh, man. I think it also do this. I might just need to like 
drive up to the higher level. But, you know. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I could just parkour myself around. Uh, curses. A locked door. Whatever will I do about that? And pow. Really? No? Really? Well, shit. I don't know what to do about that then. I thought the answer was break the electric, you know, break the electricity so I can gain access. I guess not. Maybe we have to short circuit it somehow. Plastic, plastic, duct tape. Those are all okay. Uh, once we're out of here, I can... In the next zone, I can make better flashlights. Let's just go back to my car. I see that all that loot up there, but we're gonna get it. It's gonna be because I drove a different way. This take us all the way to where I was just looking at. Seems like it. Alright, you know what? I can just do this. I'm recycling it on the field. Yeah, I can see this. Okay, we've got a couple of directions here. <laughs> I hope I don't drive myself off an edge somewhere. Sucks. I, all, I don't have the. Actually, wait, no, I do have the flare gun as something I can craft. I think? If I do, and it doesn't cost a lot, I'm just gonna start spamming flares. <laughs> I really. Here we go. Alright. Pressurized cartridges, scrap metal, road flare. Okay. I just wanna be able to fucking see in here. Okay. So I think... Maybe not. I, guess, I thought that was where we just were. Can I hold this? Whee! I do appreciate being able to just shoot a flare in the air, then pick it up off the ground. Like, you probably shouldn't do that in real life. But hey, my back's still burning hands, but we need help <laughs> here. We need every light we can get. Okay. I'm 
super curious about this place, but I'm obviously I more want to get the fuck out of here. So I'm really just looking around for any potential way through. I never tried this. Nice! Cool. Okay. If I ever desperately need these fuckers to get away from me, I can flare gun them and not hurt myself in the process. I like that. need to rely on cardinal direction here too. Let's see. As we're trying, according to the map, to get to northeast. So maybe I'm trying to get this way, which is just heading east. My blink blink. Stop moving, wipers. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. If I hold left on my analog stick, my wipers activate. <laughs> okay, we figured it quirk. Okay, okay, this is just straight up the way out. I will now take a second to examine the path over here instead. So many random stray items. If I didn't have the super boost to highlight thing, I would never see half of this shit. Uh, okay, that's good. Food. I'll be taking that. Who knows what kind of crazier storms we'll encounter outside? Almost everything. 
terms of just sheer items to randomly stumble across in this immediate area. out how to get access to those locked electricity rooms, I try a little bit harder. It might require like say the cattle prod. Because the cattle prod's supposed to be something you can charge your battery up with. So therefore I assume you know it dispels electricity. So maybe while the thing has a charge, you put in another charge. At least in terms of just throwing out random ideas. Oops. I didn't mean it. Smack into that so hard, Jesus. I just don't like it when my windshield wipers freeze in the middle of things, but... I need to go left and left and left, so it keeps moving slightly left! I'm getting off this road and driving on out of here. And I don't know, hopefully there's a portal out of this, or leading past that wall, so I'll have to drive through it over and over again. Wouldn't mind a helicopter drop off of a burger. You're right, car. Okay. Stabilizer. Is this how I get more stuff? Water's more challenging to drive through and makes your car more conductive. Oh. Makes sense. Alright, we're doing the stabilizer thing again, I think. Well, maybe only once. Hello, friend. Welcome to our side of the wall. Oh, what's this? Your connection's wobby is jam. Uh, worry not. Our signal is crystal clear. A little bit obvious, don't you think? Right, ask me if I care. Yeah, and the mid zone's been marinated in all this radiation for so long. Things don't work the same as they do in the outer zone. But the good news is, we live here. We can help you, no sweat. Yay! Uh, first things first, we've got to extend the signal from the garage. Otherwise, Avi's equipment won't be much help. Hooking you into a mid zone stabilizer should do the trick. Look around. You should be able to see one up a hill somewhere. I definitely do. I also see new shit. Orb. Giant orb. Yeah, this is just vehicle. Salamander Grotto. Hey, I recommend a tool hand bag. <gasps> Marsh eggs. Yo! -ho! Okay, hold up, hold up. We got, we, we got things for this. Ha ha! Woo! 
think the alternative is just picking them up one by one, which <laughs> doesn't seem too great. Oh yeah, here we go. know what I need these for, but I'm gonna get a bunch of them. I know, like, I need, like, 200 or something for something. Oh, shit. Oh, tits! What the fuck is that? Bubblegum, buddy! Hey, 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 hey! I'll give me that back. Shit. I mean, it's kind of cute. As long as they don't steal my stuff over and over again, which I think is their point. The game senses you enjoying yourself gathering all those eggs, and it's like, yeah. I will slice you. Get off of me! Hey! You can't have that. You can take all the marsh eggs you want, but not my tools. I wonder what it chooses to eat at. Okay, small. Here's what I can do real quick. Oop, not like that. Okay. Remove these. Get this out of here. Be like this. Okay. Good enough. That seems pretty big, but maybe the area is just small. I can take my time here a little bit. No storm encroaching to kill me. Just the only- just the accumulation of my own mistakes. Whatever new monsters wait out here for me. I don't think everything's gonna be cute. Hold on, I gotta take a picture of this. Belching barnacle. Hey, I need the picture. I don't fucking know for what. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm outie! Yeah, you know, I could use an house speed for sure. What the fuck? Oh my god, <laughs> just an abductor! Right behind me, huh? Can you leave me alone? I just want to fill up my car. You know 
that's funny. <laughs> I haven't been using it, but this game actually does have, like... ...working mirrors on our cars. But since a lot of the game takes place with shit being super dark... ...I barely ever remember that those are even there. Maybe one more, one last one, huh? Nice fucking bubble things again. Hey! That's that's intense, actually. Yeah, hey, no, 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 not me too. I mean, there are many abductors! Concerned about the whole enemies can steal my stuff potentially thing. What did the game mean by that? Is it like a steal on death kind of deal? Is it a. They could literally yoink it from my backpack? Or is it just a. Oh, when it's in your hands, they can take it out of there. Ooh, floral decal. That's cute. In one chemical for the road, of course. Yeah, right. Let's see if I can slip by this guy. You know, there is a nitro boost, I think. On the upgrade path, I wonder if it's going to be just like the orbs. Just touch the orb, speed off out of control. Maybe the nitro boost is a little bit more controllable. Was worried on, about. I can't do this without you. Fine. There. The receiver's hooked in now. And we're patched into all that sweet arc device data. <laughs> nice work. Abby won't be able to mark us out anymore. Well, better get going. Here it comes. Mm -hmm. We got a storm on the way. the stabilizer the storm would come in a little bit slower but no it's fine just coming in real fast ah shit no I got slowed by that asshole ah let go of me you freaks Huh? Yo, 
What's with that, huh? We've got a purple pod on the way there. Oh, this was a bad place to be. I might need to just ignore the pod, because I fucked up here. This water is so bad. But I kind of have to go through it all. Oh, shit. radiation was gonna just suddenly smack me down oh my god yeah much better for me to like solidify that place and deal with those kinds of problems later wow Oppie was hiding a magic teleporter we could have been beaming all over the zone this whole time. Eh, <laughs> don't worry. I'll restore her connection once you do us a little favor. We suspect Doppy's hiding a copy of Otis' database in that auto shop of hers. Find it, and we can get back to this remnant business. Recover Arda data. I mean, it's probably this locked up room over here, right? I've, I've identified the electrical circuit for the garage's security system. And there's an auto security lock in that circuit. So once I do this... Yeah, bingo! That security lock's powered on now. We'll try that overload code from the observation towers. 4735. 4735. 4735. There we go. Driver, something you should know about that database? When Arda's funding began to dry up, they handed us our final paycheck with one hand, and the same day evacuation orders with the other. Oppie was a higher up, though more entitled than an actual power by that time. She would have known about Arda's plan to close up shop, and had enough time to download all the research data before losing access. That data could contain what we need to help you. Uh, here's just... One little problem, oh wow. So if you use the bathroom, wash your hands, and then use the air dryer here, you get access, huh? Oh, Arc Dock. <laughs> Send the drive to Tobias and Francis? Sure. Boy, oh boy, look at all these gizmos in here. Arpia wasn't operating no normal auto shop. A fabrication station. Ooh, her personal vault? I bet there's some good stuff in there. I I'm uncomfortable intruding like this. Uh, can, can you not? Hold the phone. There's a machine that prints bobbleheads? <laughs> what? <gasps> Show me. Yo, no, 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 I'm giving you this hard drive first. There. Oh, you did it. Hey, you actually did it. Ah, oh boy, Audi, I cannot wait to think through all this data. As promised, I'll fix Oppie's connection. Do you read me? Come in, do you read me? Loud and clear, you old bat. 
I see. The comms clear up suddenly, and I find you two patched into the garage frequency. <laughs> it all makes sense now. No idea what you're talking about. So, Oppie, what's the, uh, what's the plan? You must have some grand scheme, don't you? Let me get this straight. You hijacked my mission, tapped into my frequency, and now you want to be all buddy-buddy. Not on your life. You think you're hot stuff. Why don't you take the lead, then? Get the driver through all by your damn selves. Did she just hang up on us? Well, guess it's our time to shine. <laughs> so, uh, Francis, you got any ideas? Well, we know the driver needs to get to the deep zone, but it's too dangerous to head there directly. We have to zero in on exactly where to go. The signal amplification trick won't work here. The ambient instability is too strong in the mid zone. Huh, how indeed. Um, there was one other time where the mass hallucination and the remnants intersected. Drive, I've tagged a route for you. Whenever you're ready, give it a spin. Maybe reach the bias's marker. Oh boy, alright. I just wanted to, like, leave that place with unstable stuff and that didn't happen. I might still need to do like one more mission or it's just like something I can get generally there had I been able to get to that uh, that anchor before the zone completely fried my brains out. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it. Now where the hell does this go? What is the arc dock? go somewhere like plasma generator <laughs> oh, geez okay as we continue to explore viable energy solutions in the increasingly unstable environment that is the zone we've begun testing the first handheld plasma containment devices in a zone plagued with radiation instability electromagnetic interference and many as yet unexplained phenomena any infrastructure created for energy transmission has proven to be all but useless hence our investigations into the potential of charged and even magnetized plasma studying both the conductive and capacitive qualities of the samples we have contained plasma would likely be far more efficient than the diesel and gasoline we've been forced to haul in from place to place and if the latest research from the Limtech team is to be believed we may soon have a way to make it just as portable at present, we await updates from Dr. Essid as she finalizes her report on Birkeland Currents. Uh, Ardor management are keen for us to test this technology in the field as soon as possible. We don't believe it yet, yet ready. They are, as ever, simply trying to rush and save money. I'm not trying. I'm not worried about that. I want... Some specific stuff. Where is the... What is the arc dot? Alright. All I have to do to use this is just put it where the arc dock the arc thing already was. So now it's upgraded. Or something. I don't know what that did. But maybe it gave us an ability. Limb enhanced first aid attention on the go. Neat. This enhanced version of the ARC device is able to administer rudimentary pain relief and first aid to the occupant of the driver's seat. However, the energy this requires will put a substantial drain on your battery. You still remain unsure if this device is a work of genius, is extremely legal, stolen tech, or is some jumbler out. So now I have a way to heal myself, I guess, in times of desperation. Damn, using it uses like 10 battery instantly. Holy shit. take a look at the route planner because I want to know how I get there like in a fast manner right
Because we had to go all the way over here before to the expansion wall, then leave. And now it looks like I can go to the highway. So what I can do to go this far out, I don't know. <laughs> this is a long path no matter what. Oh, shit. I was really hoping for a much shorter way to the outer zones. See, I think I have to go... I can go onto the highway to get here? I don't know. We'll see. What I really need to do first is get my car fixed. I don't know where those go. Oh, the D20. Yeah, sure, I can get some D20 dice. Then we have a cactus shifter, so gentle on the hand, so soft to hold. Sure. <laughs> I don't even look at it anymore. I might not have turned my car completely off. Why are you... No, no, okay. Why did we lose some battery charge? Maybe it didn't go all the way up. That happens too now. I forgot about that. News flash, Edmonds, September 12th, 1968. Tragedy today as a sixth aircraft is reported missing in the airspace over the Olympic Peninsula. Another day of unusually foggy conditions after what seemed like an initially clear morning experience, local pilot, Rochelle McKee, here, died, probably completely disappeared. What did I need those eggs for? Uh, any static gloves? Oh, okay, okay, yep, yep. Now, <laughs> I need to get plasma. I super need to get plasma. I love to be able to resist electric, uh, electric damage. Then you have the grip gloves again. We almost have 200. But we need the swamp coral shit. That's that's what I really want. What I want. My heart is froze. It's a cold one. Thinking Yule synthesizer. Oh, that's cool. Creates gasoline from various environmental substances it passively absorbs in the zone. Be sure to siphon it regularly. Ooh, I can get a lead acid battery. to replace my regular battery. That sounds fun. I need... Okay, I need a circuit board. That's all. I'm getting the investigator thingy. Investigator module.
upgrade. <laughs> okay, with that said, we're going to do some regular stuff. Uh, so, when car... Hey, we got a hint. I don't know what that means. 0.5 Kalim. So it must be one of the other things go wrong, one of the other quirks wrong with the car. Um, when we are steering left, steering wheel goes left. Wipers switches on. Guess. Bad guess. Three of four correct. Liar. Okay, fine. Move slow. But that the toggles. What the hell do you mean? Wobbles? That's horse shit. Get stuck. Whatever. <laughs> oh my god, I've got four other quirks going on with my car. That's the only one I've really noticed. We'll have to see how the other ones go. Um... I also can make other things. Actually, wait, okay, hold on. What did I just install? Because <laughs> there's one that helps you, like, see things, but maybe not yet. This upgrade for the Tinker Station will report back to you which elements of a diagnosis are correct. A new chip also adds the ability to spend anchor energy to scan the car for abnormalities. And then the third one allows you to partially diagnose any quirk, accurately pinpointing one factor. That requires plasma. I think I'm gonna have to go crazy on the plasma hunting next time. I just wonder how I use the the chip part. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for the other ones. I'm not going to make any crazy guesses for now. Alright, so... Did I empty all the garbage out? I don't need all these flares out there. Something with all the food items. I'll keep a stack of 10 just in case in the car, like the small ones, but that's really it. You know what? I can take these, I think. decal kits can go over here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, 
let's see, uh, I'll try this out. So... If I grab this... And then hold R2... Oh, that's not at all what I thought it was gonna be like! See, that's what I thought we were gonna get. Black Stripes! Woo! Sick! Not an armored... Not an armored panels, I guess. This also gets used up way more than I... Or way less than I thought. I thought it'd be like one use for the decal. And that was it. You know, you can basically... Apply it to your entire car and still have plenty to go. Alright. <laughs> With that bag. I just need to make sure I carry maybe an impact hammer spare. That's really the big thing that I got screwed on. Oh wait, I can do off-road tires. Uh, do I need them for that? Not really. Because I lose out on speed on the road, is the big thing. I gain out on speed on off-road. Ooh, no, this is what I need. The lead-acid battery. Aha! We're taking the regular battery out. Replace it. I think. Ghost on the road. It's a cold one. What a white one. My heart is broke. It's a cold one. Thinking of um. I can take the whole fucking engine out, but I can't take the battery out? Where the hell does this go? Aha! There you go, the lead acid battery fit fits in the passenger seat. And it gives you like... Just 30-ish. Or exactly 30. Okay. Well, I think I actually could afford to get more racks. I just need steel sheets. And then I can keep my auto park. Do this. Make some progress on that. One, two. I think that's all I need. Alright, C Rack! Go into the other seat. For now. Eventually, I probably will replace it, because that's really just like a convenience thing. Whereas, I might be able to like, 
there, there are other items I could put in there, like storage or even like the fuel would be nice. Like, look at this. Backseat tank. Sure, the safest and most interference-free place to put this may be on a backseat, but it sure makes the car reek of gasoline. Furthermore, it's somewhat limited in its capacity, being about half the size of a regular tank. Still, maybe you can add even more tanks later. Expanded backseat tank. Is it safer? No. Is it larger? Yes. Will it continue to generously disperse the heat, uh, heady, intoxicating order of gasoline? You know it. A larger external tank sits directly upon the roof. It's not an elegant solution, but it is a substantial reservoir of additional gasoline. It's probably even fireproof. Oh, you know what? Okay, I finally... I didn't see the part right here about where these go, so that helps out now. I... I really want a roof rack item, because we have a roof rack with nothing on it. But so much shit is fucking side, side rack. Except for, haha, -ha, all the shit that I can't use. God, go around it. Yeah, that's depressing. Everything I want on the roof, I can't until until we hit the magic fucking point. They decide to give me unstable energy, which is like right around the corner. We were we're we're there ish. Fuck. I just want to keep upgrading my car. Especially, mostly the big one is that I want to. Slap storage space on the roof. That would be nice. All right. Fuck it. One more run. One more run before I I go to get food. It's been like fourteen hours, fifteen hours since I had food. But I want to see what the hell's going on out there. Oh, hold up, you know what? Need to make a flare gun real quick. Find a better place for it. And same with the... Relightable flare. Thirty kilowatts of use. I don't know if I've ever seen another car's battery. <laughs> Actually, I have never really looked for it. But I want to make sure to take a couple of things out there. Cause, uh, this is another long one. Repair putty. Oh, this tire needs to get fucking repaired. Here, I'll I'll make an off-road tire. And I'll put it in the back. If something goes off, it goes horribly wrong, that will be the first thing that gets upgraded to be an off-road tire. Yeah. 
Impact Hammer. And a pry bar in this case. Wait, where's my impact? I just put it away. Did I just make two pry bars? <laughs> I'm confused what I just did. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. Impact hammer. There. I'm ready. 